Hi, today we're here to talk about biostimulants and how we can use them to help make your crop more efficient. Biostimulants aren't a new concept, they've been around for many years. The Egyptians used to pull seaweed from the river Nile and use it as a soil amendment. It wasn't until the 1950s, however, that we started to extract some of the actives from that seaweed to make it a lot easier to incorporate into our products. Biostimulants aren't actually recognized as either a pesticide or a fertilizer, but they're more looked at as to what they do in the plant. They help with plant health, but also with plant growth. So what do biostimulants do? Well, they help plants to help themselves. They modify the physiology of the plant. They make the plant more efficient at using its resources, things like water and nutrition. And lastly, they help protect the plant against stress from things like pathogens, pests, or the environment. And we see an increased response as these stresses on the plant increase. So what type of biostimulants are there? Well, there's many different biostimulants, but they could be put into about five groups. And today, we're going to focus on three of those groups. So the first group we're going to focus on is going to be the seaweed. And seaweeds are great because they contain hormones like auxins and cytokinins that are going to help with plant growth. They contain brazinosteroids which help with pollination, pollen hydration and pollen tube length. They also contain polyamines which can manage stress within the plant. Our second group of biostimulants we're going to look at are going to be the carbon sources. Things like humix, fulvix, low molecular weight organic acids. And these types of products help with rooting by triggering the gene that produces auxin. They help with nutrient uptake by working within that ATP energy cycle within the plant. And they also help with stress reduction by turning off or down-regulating the ethylene and ABA gene. Our third group of biostimulants we're going to look at are the amino acids. The amino acids, they can be produced from either fermented products or they can be plant or animal extracts. These types of products are going to help with complexing nutrition to make it more available to the plant. They can help with reproductive processes, making pollen tube extension more efficient. But they can also help manage stress within the plant. So what products in the ATP portfolio contain biostimulants? Well, firstly, we have Relief. Relief contains both seaweed and a low molecular weight organic acid. Our second product is our energy line of products. This contains an amino acid pack. And our third product is the kinetic line of single micronutrients that contain both seaweed and a low molecular weight organic acid. For more information on these products, feel free to visit our website. Thank you.